Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Retro Rivals. As you know, we are in month two of our gamer education. Uh, this month's pick comes from Dennis. It is Silent Hill. And if I finish Silent Hill, I've agreed to try Mike Tyson. That could be tricky. But the reason we're here today is because I wanted to do something a little bit different this month. This game's a lot shorter than Skyrim. Uh, I'm told it'll take about eight hours. I know for me it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I want to do a daily check-in to kind of check in with you guys and tell you what I've seen, what I've learned, and where I've been, and just kind of update you guys that way. So today will be my very first day playing Silent Hill, or at least it should have been. It should have been. Um, we tried to set up the capture card, thought everything was going well, was working, and when I sat down to try to play tonight, um, it was a no-go. It was no fault of my husband's. He set everything up for me before he left for work, and I tried and I tried and I tried, and nothing worked. It was our upscaler. Our upscaler didn't like pushing that low graphic quality, um, so we switched out the upscaler and it worked, which was great. We had another one here and it worked perfect. Uh, no issues, I'm able to capture. I've kind of got it going on three screens, on our CRT TV, on our big screen TV, and then on the gaming laptop. And I'll tell you right now, of the three TVs, it was made for a CRT TV. So I will be playing on that one. I'll likely leave the other ones on. With the game capture, I kind of have to leave that one on the laptop so that one will be visible. But the plan is to mostly play off the uh, CRT TV, probably the sound off the big, the, the surround sound, so it'll be more atmospheric. This month, um, Silent Hill, if I get through Silent Hill, Mike Tyson's punch out, and then there's even the possibility that perhaps Scott and I will play uh, Zelda together and kind of get a feel for that. And so I will get a very well-rounded education this month. So anyways, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for day two when I actually get to play the game and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it see you tomorrow hey guys day two official first day of gameplay um at the first of this video I explained why uh, we won't get into that because if you guys are watching this far you already know so I did bring my laptop down today no issues game captured it worked my first thoughts on the game. Um, the controls were a little bit hard to get used to, but Scott did tell me, give it like an hour and you'll be fine. And he was right, it's not that bad. Uh, it was so frustrating though to finally use, and I know this is probably crazy to everybody, to finally learn how to use dual analog only to switch back to use single analog. And the fact that I couldn't look up and down was driving me crazy, but I'm acclimating. Everything's fine. I'm getting used to it. Um, I did think I died right off the bat. I didn't realize the first scene was a cutscene. So that was kind of crazy. I'm like, what kind of BS is this? I'm not even able to defend myself. I'm dying right off the bat. So I did walk around uh, Silent Hill, the first map they give me, just wandering aimlessly, coming to blockade after blockade after blockade, and it was at that point that I said, okay, this eight hour game is going to take me twice as long as if I don't have a walkthrough. So I I know with Skyrim, I said I wasn't going to, I wanted to try to play it authentically. And then several people were told me, oh, you should have did this, or you should have did that, or you should have looked that up. And I'm kind of thinking to get a better overall experience to be more well-rounded in the game to find more things i need to use the walkthrough um also i'm still not great at killing things if you've seen skyrim you saw you saw and so i just thought you know what to actually be able to finish the game and move on to uh punch out i need to have that walkthrough but i'm going to restrict using it on the puzzles, I won't use it on the puzzles unless absolutely necessary because I want to still get some sort of authentic feel like I'm playing it when it was released and you couldn't really get on the internet to look anything up, you had to have a guidebook. 
So yeah, I want to do that. I think that's a good idea. But so far, I have made it to the elementary school. I have played for two and a half hours. I have killed many things. I have stomped on many things, which I didn't realize at first that I could save some ammo by like shooting things a few times. And then if it got on the ground, but it was still dead to just stomp on it, that I figured out. I figured out how to run. I figured out I can only run for a certain amount of time without my stamina getting low. I'm not sure how big the game is, so I don't know how far I've progressed and and what that, you know, how that lays out in terms of my time frame of eight hours. I still think it's gonna take longer, but it is what it is. I'll leave it at that because I'm a woman. I tend to get a little long-winded. So I'm gonna, if I don't stop, I'll keep talking. And I just want to apologize in advance for every day you guys gotta see me in um, messy hair don't care because at the end of a work day, my hair goes in a bun and I put a big comfy shirt on. And this was one of my husband's old shirts. So yeah, you're gonna see me every day in this stuff. I just wanna be real for you guys. So yeah, that's, that's what you're gonna see. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow for day three. Day three guys, day three. Um, yes, I realized that I said most of the time I'm gonna come to you like with my hair up in a baggy shirt and then I lied because I got uh, my hair done last night. That's the only reason. But anyways, enough of that foolishness. Um, day three of, well day two of gameplay, but day three. Um, I, I passed by everything, I'm good. Uh, I did the elementary school and I wasn't quite prepared. Like the first day didn't quite prepare me for what this day was gonna be. It was still fine, but I just, I kept reading about these ghost children, ghost children. I saw two ghost children, two like these ghostly images in one classroom, that's it. I don't know if they were talking about the things wandering around the hallways all the time. I constantly shot those. I ran by some of them. I don't know if I was supposed to conserve bullets. I'm not sure. Either way, I did figure everything out. Uh, I got past the clock tower. Although I will tell you, ooh, when I melted that hand or made the hand release the gold medallion with the chemical, I ran all the way to the clock tower to put the medallion in, only to realize I didn't pick up the medallion. I didn't pick up the medallion. I left it there. So I had to go back through everything and get the damn medallion. I was so pissed at myself. So after that, I didn't forget to pick up anything, but I got my gold medallion, I got my silver medallion, turned the clocks on, went into the other world. Before I went into the other world, I went into that locker room damn cat scared the crap out of me. I just, I knew there was going to be some, like it was, didn't scare me to the point where I screamed, but I jumped and I was like, I thought there was no jumping, like jump scares in this thing, Dennis. I thought it was just going to be, you know, me killing some stuff, doing some puzzles. But anyways, a little bit of a jump scare. So then I went in to the other world, uh, got my key on top of the roof, all that stuff, killed everything, got everything I needed to get. Then I go back into the locker room because I'm told I need to. And I even know reading this that a body is going to fall out of a locker. I know it. I read it. Does it scare me? Yes, it does. Because I'm me and I get scared by everything. So that scares me. The worst, worst, worst part of this whole thing was I kept reading about this split head thing the split head thing in the boiler room that I had to shoot, run away from so it wouldn't headbutt me, shoot some more when it looks at me, keep running away from it, keep running away from it, keep shooting it until it does something with its jaw where it looks like it's chewing. Then I need to equip my shotgun and shoot it in its wide open mouth. Going into the boiler room, knowing I had to do this, felt daunting at best. And I was like, I'm gonna get eaten alive by whatever a split head is. It looks small, small in the picture, but bigger as I walked in. 
and I was like, okay, well, I should have went back to the infirmary. This is where I die. I should have saved progress. It was easy. It was too easy. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I'm getting better or this is just a PlayStation 1 game. Either way, I was happy it was easy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. But it was, yeah, I had all this worked up angst that it was going to be really hard. So when I finally beat that, which took like two minutes, if, um, I get this apparition of a lady and then they drop a key in which is now the regular boiler room and I pick up that key and I am relieved as old hack to walk out of there and see that it is now daylight. And all I know I have to contend with in daylight are those pterodactyl looking things and the uh, skinned dogs. So either way, that was great. I did save in the infirmary before I left and where I ended up today, um, I was at Kay Gordon, I think it is. Kay Gordon's house, there's a notepad there. I saved and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for right now. I had played for two hours, I do believe. Yeah, just about two hours. And I was like, yeah, that's, it's probably, it's probably gonna take me more than the eight hours. If I'm looking at everything over, unless this next part of the map goes by really quickly, uh, I can't see it, but who knows? Anyways, yeah, that's, that's day three, but day two of gameplay. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Like, I actually have this. But who knows? Like, I'm two maps in. This could be an absolute shit show tomorrow. It could be a shit show. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. Come back tomorrow. Check out to see what my hair looks like then. Probably sloppy. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens tomorrow and I'll see you then. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, day four, day three of gameplay. Here we go. Uh, so as you know, last time I ended at Kay Gordon's house. Um, I had saved there, there was notepad, so I thought that was a good saving point. Um, I typically don't make it past a level or I guess a screen or one map. Um, today I made it through three, which was pretty cool. Um, I went back to the main first part of Silent Hill um, nothing really of consequence happened there. I met a new monster. This slug looking thing uh, moves kind of slow at first and then it crawls up on you real fast and attacks you. That wasn't cool. I did get hit a few times by that. Um, it doesn't always affect my health or stamina. I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes I'll get sideswiped by one of those pterodactyl looking things and nothing. And then other times, you know, I'll run for, I don't know, 30 seconds and then I'm like, <gasps> and I look at my status, I'm in the red and I'm just like, I don't get how this works. Went to the church, saw my first person in forever, not just a figment of my imagination, like a first person. Um, I can't remember her name, but she's like a gypsy. I thought it said something Gillespie. I'm not sure. Um, oh my ice mo yeah that's my ice machine in the background i just had to stop this video because my kid was running up and down the stairs and restart it and now my ice machine is in the background yeah that's how my day is going there's some more ice in case you need a cold drink just come by my house we have lots of ice yeah so i was at the church i met a gypsy fortune tellery lady she gave me a key. I went to the bridge, got across the bridge, went into what I think is central Silent Hill, went to the police station, met another guy, almost tried to shoot me, um, but then I cowered, cowered like the coward I am, I guess, and he didn't shoot me. And then I proceeded over to the hospital, which I guess is where I spent the bulk of my time today. Just so many times I'd be walking into a room and then bang! And I'm like, what the hell? And there's nothing around. That happened two or three times. It was creep. Like, it just freaked me out for a second, but I was fine. Uh, I probably yelled at a swear word. I don't know. We don't know. I killed everything there. Um, 
Nothing really was hard. Like I said, I, I think I used too many shotgun shells killing the nurses and the doctors. Well, not like regular ones, like undead ones. So yeah, I killed them. And I'm worried that is going to affect me down the line. I'm, I'm nervous. But that gypsy lady came back. She gave me another key, an antique storeroom key or something like that, something along those lines. Uh, it was just so much in one night, so many different uh, maps that I'm getting a little bit confused. But yeah, it was a good night. Um, I enjoyed the gameplay. It went by really fast. Again, just over two hours. And so, yeah, I saved at the hospital. I know where I have to go next. I just thought for tonight that felt like a lot, so I'm gonna leave it at that. But yeah, um, feeling pretty good. We're six hours in. I, yeah. We're not getting through this in eight hours. Unless this next part goes by like super human fast, it's not happening. I know you can, but that's not my, that's not me. I'm not gonna get through it in eight hours. I just know it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. We're having fun. So far I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's looking like this video is going to be a two part video. And this one today will end this part of the video. And so we will call this part one of uh, Silent Hill uh, day by day. And until then, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we love when you guys give us ideas or comment on stuff. Like I'm always responding. I'm always online. If you make a comment, unless for some reason I miss it, I. I try my very, very best to get back to everyone just because I want you to know that when you watch, when you comment, when you subscribe, when you turn on that notification bell, I'm listening. I We love doing this. We started this for fun and it has been a great way to meet all you guys. It's so cool to just touch base with like people all over the world and we we didn't think that was a thing. Like now we have friends all over the world because of something we thought to do as a fun little side project, not knowing if anything would come of it. But you guys have been awesome um, and just keep up being awesome. So anyways, stay tuned for my part two um, when I wrap this up and I will see you next time. Bye.